Welcome to this discussion of the new Zorba validation queue. We'll start with the things that have not changed. You still need to form a launchpad merge proposal as per normal. The voting requirements also have not been changed. You still need to approve votes and no other kinds of votes, including um, pending votes. The first thing that has changed is that this status field no longer has any meaning. You start the validation queue manually. It no longer requires to be set to the approved state to be picked up, and in fact there is no polling process. The second large new feature of the new validation queue is that it is possible to merge multiple merge proposals at the same time. The way you do this is that you choose one of your proposals to be the primary, and on that one, on the description of the change, you list the full URLs to some other merge proposals. So I'll pop that one open. You can list as many as you want, and you can have other explanatory text in there if you want. It only looks for the URLs. So as you see, this is another merge proposal to, in this case, the security module. All of these will be merged at the same time. All the same tests will be run, and they will be committed only if all the tests pass and all of the merge proposals have the appropriate voting requirements. The reason you might want to do this is if you make any, for example, backwards incompatible changes to Zorba, which require you to then make some corresponding changes in some of the non-core modules. This is not something we generally recommend, but during at least the roll-up to Zorba 3.0, when we are making backwards incompatible changes, it is sometimes required. Probably after Zorba 3.0, this feature will be removed. So, given that you have a merge proposal ready to go, all you do to merge it is click on this handy little bookmarklet, which has been explained on the wiki in an email. This pop open a new window on the new Jenkins site with the correct merge proposal URL already populated into the field. Simply click on the build button and the merge will commence. As it says here, you may want to watch the build pipeline. Let's click on that, and here it is, the new validation queue status field. So you'll see that currently it is working on merging that process. While that's going on, let's take a look at some of the things that might happen to your remote queue job. For example, here is a previous job which failed during the build step. Click on this, click on the title bar here, build Zorba Ubuntu. Right now the remote queue is only running on Ubuntu 12.04, but hopefully soon it will be on other operating systems as well. Click on that, it pop open a new little top thing here. In this case, we see that there were two compilation errors in addition to five warnings. The easiest way to see that information about the build problem is to actually open a new window on the parsed console output here. So I'm going to click on that, pop it open in a new, new tab here, and here is the output from CMake and the build. I can see all of the errors. There were two. They both happen in the make section, which means there are build errors, not configuration errors. In this case, I can click on this one here, and it'll take me directly to the line in the output corresponding to that error. The other error is also located in basically the same spot. I can also see the warnings if I wish. In this case, there were five compilation warnings, and I can scroll directly to those as well by clicking on them. Here is another example of a merge proposal which succeeded in the build but failed during the test step. Again, we can pop open this. For tests, there is a link here to the test result. I can pop open that in a separate window, and you see that it gives me a very nice chart broken down by subject. It also lists the failing tests right here on the very top, so I can click directly to see the ones that failed. In this case, the standard output of the test driver shows me that, indeed, the reference canonical result was different than the actual canonical result, and that is why the test failed. If I wish, I can also explore all of the testing results from all the tests that succeeded as well. For example, clicking on FOTS shows me all of the FFTS tests broken down by category. Closing that out, it looks like our current biplane is continuing well. We've merged, we have built, it successfully added the test suites. This is where it downloads FOTS as well as XQTS and all of the other test suites. And now it is running the tests. If we want to follow along, the yellow square means that it is currently executing. We can click on this little thing here and it'll pop open a console window and it'll show us real time the tests that are being run. So returning to our validation queue job, it appears that the merge, the build, downloading the test suites, and the testing all succeeded. However, it failed during the actual commit. The reason for this is that the voting requirements were not met. This is listed here on the console output of that job. 
However, it is also specified on a note added to the original merge proposal by the validation queue. So if we scroll down to that, we will see that the stage commit Zorba failed. And that is because the voting criteria failed. In this case, we only got one approved vote on this merge proposal, also only one approved vote on this merge proposal. In addition, we list this fake vote requirement here of needing a commit message, because as you may have noticed, neither of our merge proposals had a commit message. In the case of a multi-merge proposal merge, only the primary merge proposal, the one that was initially submitted to the validation queue, will have any notes placed on it. If we go over and look at the secondary merge proposal, we will see that the, the validation queue has said nothing. And the reason for this is to keep the amount of email spam to a minimum. However, if the merge proposal had in fact succeeded and it had committed both of those branches, then there would be a note here specifying that the branch had been committed. In addition, Launchpad would automatically set the status to merged. So that's about it. I hope the new validation queue works well for everybody, and please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you for your time.